If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please remember to hit that like button. Of course, subscribe for more FIFA 21 and eventually FIFA 22 content. If you want to get some coins to see you through Path to Glory, head on over to u7bystore.com. New link down below. Brand new website, but same old code. TVM gets you 5% off at checkout. What is going on guys, Stephen here, welcome back to a brand new day of 6pm content, the best day normally for content because it's upgrades, but to be fair we do have a fair share of upgrades anyway, so I'm guessing it's just going to be like the cheaper player picks maybe, uh, hopefully they give us something anyway because uh, I, would, I wouldn't really put it past them to not give us anything and I wouldn't really be complaining if we didn't have any upgrades because like I said we've already kind of got them, so that was released yesterday. A lot of people complaining, oh, loan cards in July. I think people miss the point of it. It's not that you're getting a loan card. You're getting a 25k pack for each one that you complete. And then at the end of it, you get an ultimate pack. You're just being given cards to use. You don't have to go into weekend league with them and you don't have to enjoy all 12 games with them or anything. It's just a player to go and complete the next one for. I think I, I think it's quite good. I like it. Uh, Shame the end one is just a 25k pack and it's not something, either a better pack or maybe a, a card that you, you know, like a, I don't know, one of these, like a, a player pick of one of these or something. That would be maybe a little bit too overpowered. But either way, I liked it. I thought it was really good. And it, it goes to show as well that EA are capable of a, a little bit of imagination because I probably wouldn't have thought to do that. I mean, if I sat down with a pen and paper with ideas, maybe I would have, but it was a good idea. So what I'm, the, the reason I like that is because FIFA 22 then could potentially at least be full of decent things like that. I'm, uh, hearing some really good stuff about FIFA 22, uh, I'm trying not to get too excited about it. I'm actually trying to ignore a lot of it as well because I don't want to get too carried away in thinking that it's going to be the best FIFA ever and then we play it and the content is okay and the gameplay is terrible. Anyway, um, let's have a little look to see what we have. So I think that might be new, I might be wrong. Uh, another 25k pack, uh, marquee matchups, all this stuff. And there we are, 81 plus player pick with an 85 to 90 upgrade. Now, a lot of people, in fact, the majority of people, in fact, I think like 99% of people would probably avoid these. They could be quite good now if they're not stupidly expensive. Ah, uh, never mind. 82 rated team, which, to be fair, I mean... Is it that expensive for a, a, a guaranteed 85 plus rated player? Yeah, it's limited at 90. Um, I don't know. And the reason I say that is because you have to weigh up how much an 82 rated team would cost. Because if you can work that out, then you can... I mean, how much is a 90 rated player? What I'm basically trying to say is, is it worth going for this and risking and, and gambling to try and get things like I and Robin Dybala and stuff done? Or is it worth just going to buy the card? Because... I don't think there's anyone between 85 and 90 worth packing for to be able to use them. They're all a little bit on the trash side and very cheap. The other re the other thing is, of course, how expensive is a 90 rated card? And then how expensive is an 82 rated team? Because they are quite low at the moment. This is good, though, because there's no limit. 81 plus player pick. The only problem is it's one of four, which means I'm guessing it's going to be like an 80, 81 rated team. It's not. Player quality exactly gold, rare players minimum 7 and 30 chemistry. Now I like it but the problem at the moment is that rare gold cards are very very expensive. They are close to 2,000 coins a piece. Not quite but close to. So it's going to cost you around 10 to 12,000 coins just on the rare gold players and then you're going to have to buy the remaining 4 non-rare. So it's probably going to come in at around 12 to 15, 14, 15k each for one of those. Might be worth it, might not be worth it. Um, obviously, it depends on what you get, which is a bit stupid. I know, of course it does, but um, yeah, it's one of those. Now, that's new, pretty sure. 59 days remaining. Johan Cruyff moments. That card is outrageous. I have used the loan version. 15 segments on him. Uh, they don't count. 81 rated team, 84 rated team. That's a bit of a jump. And then we have another 84, an 85, another 85, 286s, 287s, 288s, and 289s. I have no idea how much that's going to come in at. And the best pack you get back is 
a 45k pack. It's tradable as well, all and a mega pack. I mean, the, all the packs are tradable, and there are some decent packs in there. And with the price of, of rare gold cards right now, something like a mega pack or even a... Like, the Prime, for example, that 45k pack, would you get six rare cards in there? That's nearly 12k back minimum, regardless of what you get. And if you get a, a decent card, you could end up making 20, 30, 40k from it. So, I don't know. Good good chance of getting something decent back, I guess. But I have no idea how much that costs. I cannot see, because the sun is unbearable. I'm going to go over to Footbin very briefly and just see if there's A, anything I've missed, and B, if the price of those 81 plus play picks are coming in. No, they're not. People seem to like Cruyff uh, in general. I, like I said, I've got no idea how much he costs, so I couldn't even hazard a guess as to whether that's good value or not. I don't know how much he is on the market either. Uh, in terms of new players, just to see if there's anything I've missed, I don't think there is. I'm going to go have a look to see what packs are in store because my club is dire right now. Like Honestly, it's on the floor. I need... Um, I was going to say I need something. I, this is going to be... Uh, contains 30 gold rare items, one player guaranteed to be 88 or above. Now, 30 items, 30 rares, it's a, sh it's a shame it's not 30... I know it's a, a rare mega pack, but it's a shame it's not 30 gold players, really. Uh, let's see if we can hit something decent and then make it worth actually opening the damn thing rather than previewing it. Never mind. Um, Zapata, I think. What is he, 92? 93? Oh, it's Muriel. Never mind. I'm wrong. Muriel 93. Could be good if there's something else in here worth shouting about. I don't know how much a 93 rated card is, but that's going to um, allow me to, to check the value of it. So what are we looking for? 95k. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14,000, maybe a little bit more. 14,000 there, maybe about... 10k yeah I, unless muriel is worth i don't know 80,000 i don't think this is worth it so look at that a 93 rated card i'm on pc of course so it might be cheaper on console i don't know but a 93 rated card is just over 40,000 coins in fact you can pick up a 93 rated for 40,000 coins so that um that 85 to 90 which was what was it an 80 is it an 85 rated? No, no, an 85. Can you imagine? Um, an 82 rated team, was it? Or an 81? Yeah, it's an 82 rated team. I need to find out how much an 82 rated team costs. Let's go into an 80. There we go. Right, the 85 plus is an 82 rated team, in it? And that is currently coming in at 45,000 coins. So the 85 to 90 is quite literally not worth it at all because I've just got a 93 Muriel in that 88 plus and he's worth 40,000 coins which is, uh, you can't even get a 93 Muriel, but you can get a 93 card for 40k is what I'm saying. So you're going to spend 45 to 50k doing an 85 to 90 to guarantee yourself a lower rated card. Like I would argue that there are no cards you could pack there that would actually be worth more than the pack itself at this point, which is just crazy. EA have got that wildly wrong. But there we go. There's your content for today. Uh, I think I sold a Stindle. And my controller didn't work and I've gone onto the market. Brilliant. No, transfer list. I think stindle has gone. It has. 17.5k for him. Not bad. Took ages to sell him. But uh, yeah, in terms of the upgrades, the 81 plus is a win. But with the price of things right now, I would expect that to be a little bit more expensive than we're used to. So just bear that in mind. Uh, but I will do a few for future videos, that's for sure. And, uh, and yeah, the 85 to 90, please stay well away of it. The Rabona is... For a 25k pack, I suppose it's not terrible, but, you know, each to their own. And I do kind of like Cruyff, even though I don't really know the price of him, uh, because it's nowhere near the 50 segments that Ronaldinho is, for example. Uh, yeah, I like it. Let me know what you think of the content in the comment section down below. And, of course, if you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, goodbye.